Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. If you've got a dry suit in your future, I've got some interesting news for you about the Pinnacle Tahoe, a neoprene dry suit. Now, the Tahoe by Pinnacle is a four mil neoprene dry suit, and it can be customized to fit you. And it's all based on your uh, dry suit diving needs. Maybe you haven't used a dry suit before, but you've reached the point where dry suit diving is in your future. And this is a economical, within reason, choice for an excellent dry suit. As you can see, it's a front entry uh, suit. It utilizes the YKK Aqua Seal zipper. And because it's a front zip suit, it's so much friendlier for an individual to get in and out of versus, of course, a back zip suit. Now, some of the things we can look at on the uh, Tahoe is the fact that you've got a neoprene neck. Now, why do you have this neoprene neck? When you combine this with your hood, it really helps keep that neck warm. Now, a lot of times people are diving in dry suits without a hood, and many dry suits are made with a hood, or some of the uh, semi-dries are made with hoods. This one is not. The hood is an option. And in this neck area, it comes neoprene. You can do the latex uh, seal in here, and you have an option also to do the silicone neck seal. So again, you have a wide range of options. I'm going to put at the end of the video a sheet that shows all of the options for you to take a look at. I'm also going to put a, a link down below in the description that talks about where you go on our website to take a look at pricing and some of the specifics about this dry suit. Now, let's take a look at what we've got here. This happens to be your inflator. And of course, this suit normally utilizes somewhere between a 36 to a 33 inch inflator hose. That's something that you have to pick. And of course, when we look at the front of this suit, it is a front zip suit and what's most interesting is what's behind and inside of this zipper. And I'm going to show you. Now, as you can see, our YKK Aqua Seal zipper, it's got kind of a T handle here. So I'm going to unzip it. And you can see how easy that was. Now, what makes this suit so interesting inside of here, and I'm gonna get a close up of this. What you can see in here, these seams have a continuous liquid seal on this. So not only are the seals uh, have the double chain stitch on the outside, inside in all the seams in this suit, you have this continuous liquid seal that really is what connects the panels together. And again, you have to remember this suit is custom made to you and your diving style and needs. When I talk about parts and pieces, I'm talking about things like pockets, uh, the cuffs, uh, the boots and, and the feet, that sort of thing. But what we're gonna start with is we're gonna take a look right here at our wrist area. Now normally this unit comes with zipper here and it comes with a latex seal. You can either do away with the zipper and just have the standard latex seal here or you can keep the zipper. There's a couple of different ways you can do this is you can have the zipper and this particular suit has not only the uh, silicone seal in the neck, which is replaceable and with the, the ring and everything, but this one has the silicone replaceable 
uh, wrist seals in it. So a couple of different ways you can do it, and you can even get the dry gloves that works with this, with the, with the rings, either in round or oval. So again, the nice thing about this is that you can, again, you heard me say this a minute ago, style the suit or feature the suit based on the way you dive. Now up here on our exhaust valve, you have the choice of location. You can wear, have it up here on the upper bicep that most people use it up here, or you could locate it in three different positions down here on the lower arm at no additional cost. And this is a flow adjustable and of course push button exhaust valve by Pinnacle themselves. In the middle section, or I should say crotch area, some important features that you can have. It comes with nothing, but you can put the urine relief valve in here. You can also do what's known as the relief zipper. Now let's take a look at our pocket area. So the pockets are a standard feature. And what you're going to see, these have gussets all the way around. There is a tiny little drain hole in the bottom. And inside here, we've got a D-ring attachment. This one actually belongs to one of, our, uh, one of our employees. And we've got a light in here in the left side. This person's right-handed and keeps their backup light here in their left pocket. So the pockets are standard, which is a really super nice feature. Down here on the knees, these knees have an extra tough material on them. It's not the same material as the smooth part of the suit. It's an extra tough material so that if you happen to kneel, uh, you won't uh, tear your suit up and stuff. Now, the standard is a neoprene sock, and it's even got little features like gussets here on the heels to help you take care of this. You can order the Pinnacle Techline boots. You can utilize, I mean, I've seen people out there wearing tennis shoes over these. Various and sundry different boots you can order. And as a little secret, Pinnacle has a new boot coming out. That's top secret, don't tell anybody. Also, if you want the option of having hard boots on here, then you can opt in to have the boots installed instead of neoprene socks. So you can see how full-featured this suit really is. So that's a quick look at Pinnacle's Tahoe. They also have a lamb suit that's available that I'll put a uh, link down below in the description. Now, here's a little secret and a big benefit coming to the Diver Supply demo days is Pinnacle is going to be there and they're going to be doing custom sizing and fitting and you're going to be able to see all of these different uh, features that are available at the demo days. So don't forget we're going to have lots of door prizes at the demo days and if we can help you or answer any questions like I've said before put a comment down below. If you're new here please reach down and hit that subscribe button and as I always say at the end of the videos, dive safe out there. See you again soon.